Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You have learned from your elementary science lesson that on an average, a female ovary releases one egg every 28 days. Hormones controls the monthly changes happening in the female reproductive system, also known as menstrual cycle. Let's find out more about menstrual cycle in today's lesson. Lesson 4. The Feedback Mechanism in Menstrual Cycle Ovulation is part of the menstrual cycle, which occurs each month in a sexually mature female. Another part of the menstrual cycle is menstruation. Menstruation is the process in which blood and other tissues are shed from the uterus and leave the body through the vagina. The menstrual cycle can be divided into two cycles, called the ovarian cycle and the uterine cycle. The ovarian cycle includes the events that occur in the ovary like ovulation, while the uterine cycle refer to the events that occur in the uterus like menstruation. The two cycles are closely related so they are described together and referred to us as the menstrual cycle. The Phases of the Menstrual Cycle The menstrual cycle begins with the menstrual phase, which typically lasts from 1 to 5 days. This is when menstruation happens. During the menstrual phase, arteries that supply the endometrium of the uterus constrict and break. Gradually, blood and endometrial tissues detach from the inside of the uterus and pass from the uterus to the vagina, and then out of the body. This is the phase also where most girls experience menstrual cramps, or the contractions of the uterus or the womb. The next phase of the cycle is called the follicular phase. After the menstruation, the endometrium in the uterus begins to build up again. At the same time, several follicles start maturing in the ovaries. Only one of these maturing follicles will complete maturation. The rest will eventually deteriorate and disappear. By the middle of the menstrual cycle, around day 14, the remaining mature follicle releases its matured oocyte, or egg cell, from the ovary in the process of ovulation. Following ovulation, the luteal phase begins. During the luteal phase, the endometrium of the uterus continues to prepare for a fertilized egg. The uterine lining becomes thicker and develops more blood vessels. At the same time, the mature follicle that just released its egg develops into a structure called corpus luteum. If the egg cell is fertilized by a sperm cell, the fertilized egg will be implanted in the endometrium of the uterus. But if the egg cell is not fertilized, the endometrium will break down, leading to menstruation. And this begins a new cycle. Feedback mechanism is the process through which the level of one substance influences the level of another substance. Here's an example of a negative feedback mechanism in the menstrual cycle. The follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, stimulates the ovaries to release estrogen. High levels of estrogen then prevent the further production of FSH. Estrogen also stimulates the release of luteinizing hormones, or LH, from the pituitary gland, which in turn controls the production of progesterone. High levels of progesterone then inhibit or stop the further release of luteinizing hormones. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.